So we'll look at a couple of examples from the homework assignment. Um, I'm going to look at numbers six and number seven. I'm just sort of picking those because I think they're slightly more involved and hopefully you can uh, sort of look at your notes for some of the other ones. So number six <coughs> says we've got a saturated solution of potassium chlorate uh, was made with 300 grams of H2O or water at 40 degrees. How much potassium chlorate can be recovered if all of the water evaporated? So it's saying we have a, a, a solution, it's saturated, and if all of the solvent evaporated, all the water evaporated, how much of the solute would be left? So all we have to know is how much was dissolved. So we go to our solubility curve and it says that this is a saturated solution, which means it lies on that curve. So what we've got to do is find the potassium chlorate curve. That's this one right here. It's that curve. And we want to look at the 40 degrees Celsius mark. So at 40 degrees Celsius, it's, it's right there. And go across. All right. And that looks like it is at about between 10 and 20, about halfway between. So that is going to mean 15 grams of solute per 100 grams of solvent. So that looks like our solubility is 15 grams of KClO3. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, per 100 grams of H2O. Um, in this example, right, we actually know what the solute and the solvent are, so we can actually list those instead of writing solute and solvent. Um, and we know we have, we want to find out how much of the solute can go in the 300 grams of H2O. So we see grams of H2O cancels and 300 over 100, that just reduces to three. So three times 15, that is 45 grams of potassium chlorate. And that is the amount that is dissolved at this temperature. So if we were to evaporate all of the water, this is how much we'd be left with. So six is 45 grams of potassium chlorate. So let's look at number seven. 500 grams of water is used to make a saturated, again, a saturated solution of potassium chloride. So not the same as potassium chlorate, potassium chloride at 10 degrees Celsius. Now then it says how many more grams, how many more grams of potassium chloride could be dissolved if the temperature is raised to 100 degrees Celsius. So if we're gonna go from 10 to 100. So let's start at the 10 degree mark and we're gonna go up until we find the potassium chloride line. Actually, I'll go at, try to make this a little bit of a straighter line here. There we go, right? And here's the potassium chloride line. So it goes across. That looks like it is a little, that's between 30 and 40, but it looks like it's not quite halfway. So I'm gonna say it's uh, 33 uh, grams. I'm gonna move it over here to the side. 33 grams of potassium chloride per 100. 100 grams of H2O. And we've got that, what we have is 500 grams of H2O. 
H2O. So grams H2O cancel and 500 over 100, well, that's just five. So five times 33 is, well, we can do that. 33 times five is uh, three times five, that's 15. That's another 15 plus one, that's 165. So 165 grams of potassium chloride. Now that's at 10 degrees Celsius. Now we also have to do this a second time. We've got to find out what about at 100 degrees Celsius. So at 100 degrees Celsius, it goes to here. Right? And let's go across. Right? And that looks, you know, uh, although my airline sort of looks like it's about halfway, I might say it's a little bit more than half. I'm going to go, it's because it looks like it's right about there. So I'm going to say that's about, I'm going to, I'm going to go down here an extra line. I'm going to say that is about um, 58 grams of potassium chloride per 100 grams of water times that 500 grams of water. Grams of water cancels. And we're left with just the five times. So five times 58. Well, that's 58 times five times eight is 40. That's 25, that's 29. So that's 290 grams of potassium chloride at 100 degrees Celsius. So this is asking us, how many more grams could be dissolved if it's raised? So that means what we're looking for the difference. So 290 grams minus 165 grams equals 10 minus five is five and eight minus six is two. So that is 125 grams of potassium chloride, 125 grams more or extra. So 125 grams of potassium chloride. We could put another note here, more, that's more or additional. All right, um, so that's number six and number seven. And I hope that uh, gives you some sense of how these things work and you can do the rest for uh, homework. All right, thank you so much.